Okay, we have breaking news to bring to you. You can see a high speed chase now in action on the city's south side. You see that truck there, the pickup truck? It looks like some sort of utility vehicle squeezing in and out of vehicles, and he is being chased by city uh, police officers. And at this point, he's on the south side of town, perhaps uh, being reached out as well by constables or deputies. But he has uh, been on the run now for approximately, what are we looking at here, Keith? About 15 minutes or so? I think that's about it. So there he goes, city south side. He was on 288 earlier. Whoa, there he goes. He looked like he was going to exit, then squeezing in and out of another vehicle, and now back on, I believe it's still 288. Is that correct? You are correct. 288 southbound. You can see the vehicle, uh, the police officer behind him there with the lights flashing. Not sure why he is on the run. Um, what was that, Keith? Okay, Andy Bass is in Sky Eye. I didn't realize that. Okay, Andy, my apologies. Now, you've been, you've been following this guy, um, but no idea as to why he's on the run. Is that right? A absolutely. Uh, yeah, we have no idea why he is running. We picked him up on 288 just a little bit south of the belt right now. We, uh, so this is where we picked him up. He uh, tried to exit off of 518, tried to exit off at a couple of different roadways, uh, but he has not been able to exit. He keeps getting on the main lanes. Uh, he's down an exit ramp now, trying to maybe avoid some officers, thinking that he's going to exit and then jerk back over to the left and get back on the main lanes. Uh, we're doing about a buck 20 right now and having a hard time keeping up with this guy, so he's excessively speeding. Yeah, so if you're if you're having a tough time keeping up with him, then he's going pretty fast. And that's not exactly a pickup truck. That looks like more like a, a utility flatbed or something. Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a pickup truck front end, a utility flatbed back end. Uh, could have okay. been modified as well for maybe a work truck or something along those lines of art, not too yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, we do not know why he's running, why he's evading the police as of right now, but he's uh Definitely 288 southbound still right now, excessively speeding. Uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, Sky Eye is doing about a buck 20, and we're having a hard time keeping up with him. Oh, wow. So, Sky Eye, did you listen to that, folks? He's uh, Sky Eye doing about 120, um, and they're having a tough time keeping up with this guy. That's a big truck. That's a heavy truck. And as you can see there, yeah, a, a, looks like a pickup truck, at least from the front end, but it's been modified a bit. And a flatbed on the end. And if that is 288 south, then eventually he's going to be. You know, wow, when you squeeze by those shoulders like that, and man, that's frightening. He's, he's had some close calls, hasn't he, Andy? Yeah, a couple of close calls, a couple of with him. Oh, he's stopping right now. Hold on, Artie. He's going across okay. the median right now, and it looks like he's now he exiting off to maybe Highway 6, maybe a little bit further south than Highway 6, just to give you a, def a better location of where we are. Now he's on the feeder road southbound side. You just saw him cross the grassy median there, and now he's okay. uh, taking a nice right little turn on this uh, roadway. I'm just going to pull back the camera just a little bit, just in case if he tries to cut across other roadways. And there he goes. Now he's on a dirt road. Okay, yeah, this is getting dangerous. When you're on dirt roads and back roads, you know, you get into areas where people drive a lot slower. This might be frightening here. Now he's back on asphalt, it looks like. Um, they've been chasing this guy for some time, and he is moving down that road. Absolutely. I don't think he's doing a, like we were doing 110 earlier. I don't think he's going that fast anymore. But yeah, I mean, he's got one one of two ways to turn. This road dead ends, according to the pilot who could see it up ahead of me. I'm not going to uh -oh. leave, leave the yeah. camera. But uh, yeah, he's got one of two turns, either left or right, coming up at this dead end. So it was the wrong choice on roads. Let's see what happens here. And of course, police officers always mapping this out when they're involved in these chases. They know exactly where they're going to be going, left or right. And they try and have, well, looks like he's going to go off roading. Here we go. This is going to get like interesting. It, yeah, he's on. Yeah, it's a dead end, though, Art. He, he uh, he's the on the road. way he south now in right Brazoria County, off roading, but he certainly has the vehicle to do it. But let's see how far, far officers are able to chase him here. You know, we see this all the time. These guys trying to get away, but uh, this guy, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think he's, he's, he's like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> Yeah, right. The bulldozer guy at the bottom of the street is probably wondering why <laughs> this guy is driving in the middle of a, oh, on a flatland. He's now in a construction zone right now. Yeah, this is an area that they're, uh, you get fill dirt out of this place and he's in construction zone here. This is Brazoria County now. That's how far we are south. He went on 288, then he got on Highway 6. And let's see where he takes officers now. Uh, he's going to be, you know, if this. If he gets into a low line area because this area has had quite a bit of rain, he's going to get stuck in some water, and perhaps that's what he's trying to do is just get. You, you can see, you can see that it, it's kind of muddy there. 
Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I'm just going to pull back the camera just to give you a better glimpse that there's absolutely nothing around us. Just saw the Fox HPD unit fly right underneath me, so they're jo they're joining the chase as well. He's trying to get back to this little dirt road at the top of your screen, and he's probably looks like he's going to head northbound along that little dirt road, uh, and that's exactly what he's going to do. So we're going to go on with this a little bit All northbound right. along this. D yeah, he's, uh, well, he's trying to do everything he can now to get away from officers. From driving down the back roads and through fields and uh, pastures and scaring the cows and uh, you know everything else but there he goes in his big truck flatbed there the front end I mean it looks modified and he's he's determined that's for sure uh, you know that police have been you know that they map out these county roads and they check uh, all ends and so they're trying to figure out where he's going to go and no doubt trying to f uh, figure out where they can lay some spike strips to stop this guy but uh, there, you get a better look at the vehicle. Yeah, look it at that like thing. It looked like he had the window open, Art. It looked like he had the window open. I don't want to say that he was actually looking to throw things out, but he definitely had the window open there on the other side of those tree-lined uh -huh. areas. And now he has closed that. He's, you know, right. in there, you know, probably panicking, because if I was him, I know I would be panicking right now. But yeah, yeah, right now I believe he's northbound, northbound on this little side road, heading back towards Highway 6. Okay, and you still have a line of officers behind him, right? Because I, they, they were able to follow him right through those. Now he's losing something from that vehicle. I don't know if that's just because of the, uh, the bumps that he's that going over, but might, I see things flying out of that vehicle, at least the bottom of that it. Might be you know his what? Tire. Swing around to the other that side if you can. I don't know if you can do that, but I think he's losing the tire there. Yeah, yeah can, he's, can we get on to the other side if possible? Yeah, I think he's losing his tire. I think you're 100% correct because now you see little bits of uh, cement being kicked up. So that tells me he might be on his rim. He's yeah. also slowing down quite a bit. And it looks like... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's okay, making he's... marks. He's making marks in the roadway. So he's got a flat. Absolutely, he does. So this is uh, going to continue now on three good tires, only one bad one. And that's his, uh, and unfortunately, it's probably his power tire if it's a real-wheel drive vehicle like tr most trucks are. I'm trying to zero in the plate to see if that's a paper plate, which it is. He may have double tires on those back ends as well, because that's a pretty heavy truck. I don't know if that, uh, but you can you can see the line there, the scrape. You see the the, the wheel that uh, the line it's Absolutely. making right there because of the the rim hitting the the asphalt. Uh, and he is not stopping, man. He's just uh, well on his way. But he's not able to drive as fast. And certainly he's not going to have the control that one would have with four good tires. Absolutely. Especially on dirt roads, you know, in this rural area yeah. that we're in right now. As I'm, you know, going to pull back the camera just yeah, to see where he's going. Look at the marks he's, he's making all over he's... the... Looks like he may stop and make a run for it. Let's see. Who knows? Maybe he's... Uh, he has the window down, I believe, now. Yeah, definitely has the window down now. Let's see if I can just squeeze in there and get a shot of him. Okay, right. he's turning your way. Better view here, a little profile. Yeah, you can, he's wearing a plaid shirt. Window down, taking a look outside, trying to figure out where to go. Oh, what a piece of work this guy is. Um, <laughs> He's certainly, uh, yeah, leading police on this uh, wild chase here, man. We've been, you, you can tell he's dry, he's riding on his rim there. He's kicking up all sorts of uh, dust and asphalt there from that wheel. He's lost his tire on the right-hand side, came awfully close to that vehicle on, as he squeezed real by that Real close to that, that UPS truck as you, yeah, he came real close to that UPS truck. And he's coming up to another dead end, so he's either going to have to go left or right here at this end of this street. I'm just trying to get on this side to see if he can, if I can see the rim or either see if there's a double rim. Yeah, he's definitely on the rim back there. As okay, we can yeah. tell, you can tell there's no tire left on that one. And yeah, it looks just, just to be like a single vehicle. Now he's, he, he was braking, so he's got more traffic ahead of him. So he's, locking, he breaks, that, he's locking that wheel up every time. Right, yeah, when he brakes, you can see the asphalt and the dust kick up. There, you see that thing stop. You see the wheel. He's just riding on that rim there. Um, all right, well, now we're back to, uh, I'm not clear where we are here. We've sort of zigzagged so many times. He was, he's still clearly way south, and he was on Highway 6 after driving down 288 south for some time. But then when you start driving through fields and, and pastures and construction zones, you know, we sort of get lost at the direction here. Good luck. Sorry about that. We, uh, uh, we 
We have a we have a, an airport that we're real next to, and the pilot was talking to the airport just to tell him that there's three helicopters in the area right now. He is back on it. We believe Almeida. He's okay. uh, believe on Almeida back where going back towards eastbound. Can't be Almeida if he's eastbound. So I'm not. Yeah, he's he's almost headed back to where it began because it began over there in Almeida, but um, still in Brazoria County. We understand. Uh, not stopping. You still have. That's, uh, I believe, the same. Uh, I'm not sure if they've, because that's a black uh, DPS unit. That's an SUV chasing him. Is that a yeah, is I that a deputy then, and not a not a police uh, not a Houston PD? No, that should be HPD are chasing him. I believe he was the very first one. Okay, FM 521. We're we told, Andy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we are back on Almeida, northbound on Almeida. Southbound, I'm sorry, southbound, heading away, heading away. So we're southbound back on Almeida, just about where the chase, uh, where it first began. So he's like doing a complete circle right now. But yeah, that's an HPD officer behind him. Okay. Uh, is what I can tell you. So he was the one that initially joined the chase art, and he's the one that's been with him ever since. since yeah, he was the here. one who was able to, yeah, follow him all the way through those fields. He's, he's going to go off road again. I thought for a moment he he's might go off road to do again. Something. He would have a he who would certainly have a tougher time if he if he went off road with that without the wheel with only three wheels or three tires. <clears throat> Still has four wheels, but one of those is a rim without the tire on it. That SUV just you know that the the, uh, the protocol is to simply follow, and eventually if they get into a dangerous situation where they feel like he really is endangering the lives of others. They're going to attempt uh, the maneuver where you, you put your vehicle up to the back end of that and sort of spin it out of control. But he's just driving yeah, erratically. Absolutely. Look at the vehicles on the other side, on the opposing side, Andy. They're just pulling over immediately. Well, yeah, you see someone coming at you barreling down in that giant vehicle, Man. you're going to pull over. There's a lot of northbound traffic on 521 Almeda Road. He's headed towards Angleton right now. It's it's wide open. Pilot keeps telling me there, there's basically nothing in front of him to uh, to deter him from keeping going southbound on Almeda Road. Okay, you still can see on him five... swerving. He does not have control. Yeah, he, he has does. no control over that vehicle. Still on 521, approaching Duluth and Manville, I understand. And, and yeah, the... With a back end like that, as heavy as that is, and him riding on that rim, only three tires, then uh, he's no doubt having a tough time controlling that thing. At this point, he's got to be thinking, all right, you know what? I don't know that this getaway is going to work. Uh, because clearly at this point, when you have three choppers up above and you have a dozen units behind you, I mean, what's going through his mind to think that he's going to get away? <laughs> I mean, he's not. That's what... Yeah, it's the $24,000 question uh, is what, what's he thinking that he is going to try to get away. But there he is. Oh, he's got a shotgun oh, out. Whoa. He's got a shotgun out right now. That was a shotgun. That looked yes, like a was. shotgun. Yeah, you're right, Andy. That, 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 I mean, what's he trying to do? Drive and okay, shoot he's at going, the same time? Now he's going left on this. Yeah, he just went right into a dead end. He's gonna, he's gonna come over. I'm just gonna pull back the, the camera just a little bit. He's gonna go underneath us. It's gonna spin just a little bit, just to give you guys an FYI. But okay. he's now on this dirt road heading westbound. All right, and I'm gonna just try to keep, try to keep him in the screen. All right, and there he is. Uh, HPD officer obviously is uh, pulled back just a little bit when noticing that shotgun came out of the driver's window. Uh, yeah. Um that was uh, that was an alarming sight. I mean, clearly he was having, and I, it didn't appear as though, at least from your tight shots earlier, that there was anyone else in the vehicle, right? Only the driver. There. But we can't confirm that. But it, it doesn't appear that there was anyone else in the vehicle. So he, here's the guy still on the run on this dirt road, which Andy, you're saying it's a uh, dead end. Well, there it is. Yeah, you can see the dead end. There it is. Yeah, it is. It's a dead end. All right, so well, this let's guy see what definitely he does chose here. the wrong, and there's a car. To, All yeah, right, there's a car exiting out of that gate that probably see. sees this guy barreling down him do. and doesn't know what to do. He's going to crash through this gate. There he goes. Now he's he in. Goes. Now he's into this little barn field. And there's a road out the back. This guy must know something. Like he's been here before because. You think so? I don't know, man. I, I, how do you know that there's a road back here? You know, unless he just saw it and that's that it was a split decision to get to it. 
but now he's on this dirt road, still heading, I believe, south westbound, westbound along this dirt road. Okay. But a HPD helicopter still overseen. I haven't seen the units behind him. I'm pulling back the camera to see if they, I think they stopped. Yeah, where are the oh, units? Coming. I see no one there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't oh. want to get too far away from the vehicle, but I do. The pilot does see him. Or the, or the pilot does see the uh, chase vehicle still behind okay. him. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to keep with him. Yeah, because I, I think the units may have backed off when they saw the shotgun. So, what looked like a rifle, anyway, it appeared as though it was uh, a, a rifle or some sort of shotgun. But uh, we can't confirm that either. But when he certainly made that corner and. and We'll be able to recap all of this for you with, uh, and we'll run that tape once again. But there he goes, still on the dirt road uh, without a wheel and only running on three tires and carrying some sort of, um, well, what appeared to be a shotgun that he, you know. Uh, yeah, he's running out of options, Art. He's getting yeah, he down, is. you know, according to the pilot who's looking up above of us. He's like Brazos River's right that, you know, due ahead of us. Uh, there's no real bridge over the Brazos River on this road. So he's going to have okay. to make a decision here pretty quick. Yeah, and if he makes a run for it on foot, I mean, they have the helicopter up above. You just saw him run over a cattle guard there. So uh, this is a pasture out here where there are going to be cows and... That's about the only thing here. That, and the only, the only good news to report out of this at this point, Andy, is that he's not in a residential area. Having a crazed man like this, at least on the run, showing what appears to be a shotgun, driving this fast and so erratically through the area, at least he's in an area where he can't do harm to others. That is the only good news. If you think back of the chase that we had last week, you know, how it ended, you know, basically right. another driver just coming at the intersection and thank God, you know, it does not yeah. appear that that's going to happen here because he's in such a rural area. Not a lot of traffic is going to impede and this dirt road basically ends at the Brazos River, according to the pilot who's looking above us right now. Uh, he's like, there's no bridge there. So it's either wooded area, turn around, try to come back on the same dirt road. He's, he's out of it. He's basically limited on options. Well, we'll see what he does when his options run out here. Um, as so far, he's been pretty creative, at least in his driving skills and bouncing around from different areas. There's another small dirt road there that he passed, but that likely is a dead end. I mean, these dirt roads don't last forever. Again, this is Brazoria County. It started about 30 minutes ago. Uh, we don't know why this guy is on the run. We do know that uh, at least what appeared to be a shotgun that he waved out the window so that's the frightening part. He's been on this dirt road now, and officers backed off after they saw what appeared to be that shotgun. He is riding on three wheels. Now he's come to, well, this may be the dead end that you were speaking of, Andy. Yep. There's yeah, you're the right fence. Here. He's there he goes. Through the fence. Through the fence. And he's going to go off roading once again. Let's see where the. I don't understand the mind of this guy. But he, you know, it's, There's the river. Okay, well, he's what's he going to do? He's at Put the Brazos River. The river? Is he gonna, does he even notice the river's there? There he goes, now he's, I, he's stopped. But he crashed into some out. trees. There he is out, let's and see he, if he has anything. And he's him. out and he's running. Okay, there he goes, now he's through the window. You can, through, in the river, you can see him with his shotgun in the river. on him. You see him carrying his gun? I don't see that. him carrying the gun, no, I don't see him. I thought I saw it earlier with him. But I do see him at him. the Brazos River. I know, okay, he, he doesn't have anything. This, the, the self, this guy can swim. All right, look at this guy. Right. Now, now he's thinking, like, he's what am Olympic I doing swimmer. in this river? Okay, come on. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's an Olympic swimmer, but definitely no, he's got no, he's, this guy some swimming gonna, skills. He looks like a pretty big guy, too, so um, let's see what he does. And I'm looks not like quite, he does. quite sure. <laughs> this is the most interesting chase I think we've had in a long time. Yeah, we've covered some doozies, Art, no question about it. This is the first time I've ever this seen guy, anyone jump yeah. in the river. It looks like he's got something in his hand, too, so I'm going to back off just a little bit. He might have something in his hand that I don't want to know because he's... I don't know. I don't see anything there, Andy. I thought I saw something earlier. Okay. I thought I... I mean, I don't know what... Huh. Yeah. I, you know, because Very you don't see any officers at this point chasing him, at least jumping in the water. No, they were far back. Somewhere. We haven't been able to see that person in the last couple of minutes, but Lauren, this started uh, as a very high-speed chase in a truck.
Yeah, it looks like there is some movement that you can see uh, there in the river as we kind of zoom in. You can see oh, there's someone a, right. does appear to be in the river. Again, we understand this is the suspect they were chasing. We understand that Pearland police began chasing a possible home invasion suspect. This began as a chase in a car. They were on County Road 541 at one point south of Pearland. Uh, ended up over westbound on Plantation off of County Road 145 in the Alvin area again, but then the suspect took off on foot, and officers gave chase at that point on foot as well. Right. So now what you're seeing is you're seeing the suspect uh, swimming in along the banks of the Brazos River. Pearland police are not down the Brazos River, though. If you know much about the Brazos River, that is a very dangerous river to swim in. Certainly not recommended. Officers again there on the banks of the Brazos waiting for the suspect. We're just watching him at this point to see basically what he does next. Right. We know we've gotten a lot of rain in the last couple of weeks, so uh, we're not sure if that's going to affect the current, if the river is uh, higher than it normally is, or if the currents are moving any faster. But as you mentioned, Lauren, definitely not a good place to be swimming. But you can see that this person is doing everything that he can to get away from police. Pearland police, um, as Sky 2 is flying over the scene, are not too far away from him. They are along the banks of the river. We saw at least four officers. Officers at one point with their guns drawn running after this man. So, probably 15 minutes or so before he jumped out of a vehicle and officers began chasing him on foot. Then he, he has something, ended up in the Brazos River there. He has something in, in his hand. It doesn't look like that's a, it might like be a, a phone, cell phone, a cell phone um, that he's trying to throw up there on the banks. It looks like he's having some trouble. Maybe he's trying to get out of the water at this point, but now. You have to imagine that we have a few different crime scenes. We have the initial crime scene, which is in Pearland, uh, where this possible home invasion took place, potentially an armed home invasion, because we now have a second crime scene, which is where he threw a gun, reportedly, out of his vehicle during that high-speed chase, according to police. Uh, police definitely going to be going back there to look for that weapon. And now here, where the chase has, at this point, come to a halt. I don't know if he's communicating with somebody, but it looks like he's trying to get out of the water. Yeah, it appears as though maybe he is communicating with law enforcement. I think that cell phone would pretty much be obsolete since he's been in the water with it, but he appears to be trying to put that cell phone back up there and, and grasp onto something. We don't know if law enforcement is right there. So he says, well, maybe I'll try another area or do a little backstroke here. <laughs> yeah, he's going to try out for the 2020 Olympics. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this guy does. I'm going to pull back just it, a little bit, see if the officers are going to try to make their way down the embankment. There, one is still at the top of there. I, see I only one see one the there, so, yeah. Possibly threw it out of the vehicle and is now swimming down the Brazos River. Law enforcement, Pearland police specifically, don't appear to be close by. They don't appear to be right where he is, but they're not too far away. Uh, they ran guns drawn to the edge of the river there. And, Lauren, this guy is in a dangerous situation now. Yeah, always dangerous to swim in the Brazos River. Certainly, we know that river has some rather strange and dangerous currents throughout it and as you mentioned earlier Sarah we've had quite a bit of rainfall here in the last week or two so possibly could make it even more dangerous the suspect is in Brazoria County in the Brazos River there he swam out towards the middle of the river and appears to be swimming back towards the banks we don't know if law enforcement is right there talking to him possibly trying to communicate uh trying to give get him to give up without incident at this point but he doesn't seem to really know exactly what his next move is because he right. swims out and then he swims back in right you have to imagine that law enforcement uh, certainly but these are the three that have been able to at least walk down to where this guy uh is standing it looks like he's i don't know if he's taking his clothes off because he needs help getting out or um or what yeah, um, I don't know exactly at this point, but he does appear that he's taking off his shirt and throwing that. Yeah, so um, doesn't appear to be making much of an effort, though, to get out.
Stupid News 3. finally arrested. That happened actually shortly after 3.30 this afternoon. And what you'll see is this man covered and caked in mud from head to toe, no shirt and no shoes, just wearing shorts, being walked out by a number of police deputies and officers from the surrounding area. This all began as a chase shortly before 2 o'clock this afternoon in southeast Houston off Almeda and West Orem. That led officers on a winding chase that spanned two counties and more than an hour before he broke through the gates of a private ranch where we are, drove about five and a half miles, and then ended up along the river. As you can imagine, it is a tough situation. In fact, the man who manages this ranch where we are at, he actually pulled his own car out to try to block this man from coming in. So at that time, I jumped out of my office, ran downstairs, got in my truck, and blocked the front gates. He busted through the side of us, and we ended up here at the back of the berm, 5.2 miles from the front. Can you tell me why you ran, sir? Well, that suspect right there would not talk to me. It will be interesting to see if he actually tells officers anything when they begin to interview him. We know the issue right now is he at least had weapon, a weapon on him. According to officers on the scene, he apparently fired that weapon. That is why this is now considered an officer-involved situation. If he tries to cut across other roadways, and there he goes. Now he's on a dirt road. Okay, yeah, this is getting dangerous. When you're on dirt roads and back roads, you know, you get into areas where people drive a lot slower. This might be frightening here. Now he's back on asphalt, it looks like. Um, they've been chasing this guy for some time, and he is moving down that road. Absolutely. I don't think he's doing a, like we were doing 110 earlier. I don't think he's going that fast anymore. But yeah, I mean, he's got one, one of two ways to turn. This road dead ends, according to the pilot who could see it up ahead of me. I'm not going to uh -oh. leave, leave the yeah. camera. But uh, yeah, he's got one of two turns, either left or right, coming up at this dead end. So it was the wrong choice on roads. Let's see what happens here. And of course, police officers always mapping this out when they're involved in these chases. They know exactly where they're going to be going, left or right. And they try and have, well, looks like he's going to go off roading. Here we go. This is going to get like interesting. It, but... Yeah, he's on. Yeah, it's a dead end, though, Art. He, he uh, he's the wrong all the way road. south now in Brazoria right County, off roading, but he certainly has the vehicle to do it. But let's see how far, far officers are able to chase him here. You know, we see this all the time. These guys trying to get away, but uh, this guy, uh, you know, I, I think he's, he's, he's like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> Yeah, right. The bulldozer guy at the bottom of the street is probably uh, wondering why <laughs> this guy is driving in the middle of uh, oh, a flatland. He's uh, now in a construction zone right now. Yeah, this is an area that they're, uh, you get fill dirt out of this place and it's in construction zone here. This is Brazoria County now. That's how far we are south. He went on 288, then he got yeah. on Highway 6. And let's see where he takes officers now. Uh, he's going to be, you know, if this... If he gets into a low-lying area, because this area has had quite a bit of rain, he's going to get stuck in some water, and perhaps that's what he's trying to do is just get... You, you can see. You can see that it, it's kind of muddy there. 
Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And I'm just going to pull back the camera just to give you a better glimpse that there's absolutely <laughs> nothing around us. Just saw the Fox HPD right now, but he's uh, definitely 288 southbound still right now, excessively speeding. Uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, Sky Eye's doing about a buck 20, and we're having a hard time keeping up with him. Oh, wow. So, Sky Eye, did you listen to that, folks? He's uh, Sky Eye doing about 120, um, and they're having a tough time keeping up with this guy. That's a big truck, that's a heavy truck. And as you can see there, yeah, a, a, looks like a pickup truck, at least from the front end, but it's been modified a bit. And a flatbed on the end. And if that is 288 South, then eventually he's going to be, you know, wow, when you squeeze by those shoulders like that, and man, that's frightening. He's, he's had some close calls, hasn't he, Andy? Yeah, a couple of close calls, a couple of with him. Oh, he's stopping right now. Hold on, Artie. He's going across okay. the median right now, and it looks like he's now he exiting off to maybe Highway 6, maybe a little bit further south than Highway 6, just to give you a, def a better location of where we are. Now he's on the feeder road southbound side. You just saw him cross the grassy median there, and now he's okay. uh, taking a nice right little turn on this uh, roadway. I'm just going to pull back the camera just a little bit. Just in Okay, we have breaking news to bring to you. You can see a high-speed chase now in action on the city's south side. You see that truck there, the pickup truck? It looks like some sort of utility vehicle squeezing in and out of vehicles, and he is being chased by city uh, police officers. And at this point, he's on the south side of town, perhaps uh, being reached out as well by constables or deputies. But he has uh, been on the run now for approximately, what are we looking at here, Keith, about 15 minutes or so? I think that's about it. So there he goes, city south side. He was on 288 earlier. Whoa, there he goes. He looked like he was going to exit, then squeezing in and out of another vehicle, and now back on, I believe it's still 288. Is that correct? You are correct. 288 southbound. You can see the vehicle, uh, the police officer behind him there with the lights flashing. Not sure why he is on the run. Um, what was that, Keith? Okay, Andy Bass is in Sky Eye. I didn't realize that. Okay, Andy, my apologies. Now, you've been, you've been following this guy, um, but no idea as to why he's on the run. Is that right? Absolutely, Art. Yeah, we have no idea why he is running. We picked him up on 288 just a little bit south of the belt right now. We, uh, so this is where we picked him up. He uh, tried to exit off of 518, tried to exit off in a couple of different roadways, uh, but he has not been able to exit. He keeps getting on the main lanes. Uh, he's down an exit ramp now, trying to maybe avoid some officers, thinking that he's going to exit and then jerk back over to the left and get back on the main lanes. Uh, we're doing about a buck 20 right now and having a hard time keeping up with this guy, so he's excessively speeding. Yeah, so if you're if you're having a tough time keeping up with him, then he's going pretty fast. And that's not exactly a pickup truck. That looks like more like a, a utility flatbed or something. Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a pickup truck front end, a utility flatbed back end. Uh, could have okay. been modified as well for maybe a work truck or something along those lines of art, not too yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, we do not know why he's running, why he's evading the police as a